license and registration show is brought to you by Wheelhouse Storage, luxury garage condos for all of your toys. Visit wheelhousestorage.com for more information. Now on to the show. Welcome to the License of Registration Show. I am your host, Mike Ryu. Today, hide your kids, hide your wife. We got some friends in the house from another <laughs> podcast, the Saucy Podcast. What's going on, gentlemen? What up? Well, what's happening? Hey, you guys want to go ahead and let everybody know who we're talking to? I'm Joey. That, that's it? That's, that's just <laughs> That's Joey. Just Joey. Yeah, no. Better known as the Albino Rondo, okay, the yeah. Honky Kong. <laughs> yeah, I'm Scooter from the Saucy Podcast. We're here to... Shoot the shit. Also known as a douchebag. Okay. <laughs> so that's how we're going to start this. <laughs> oh, oh. So you guys are fellow automotive enthusiasts. I yes. know we talked a little bit about it on the show as well. So what are you guys currently riding in? Well, you're, you're riding in your wife's car, right? Well, <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Oh, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm currently in my wife's uh, Blue Challenger there 2016 RT. Nice. I yep. have a 92 Jetta. Which will be anything he has. A whole and orange crush. Orange crush. And then I have a 66 Beetle, which is currently not in my possession. <laughs> TBD. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pixar didn't happen. Right. I'll send you a picture. Like, All right. Can know. we get one of those iron on shirts? Like RIP? Oh, yeah. Something, yeah. Why don't we go to the flea market and get it like a airbrush one? Oh, the iron on. Brush one? Oh, the airbrush. Airbrush. Yeah. Yeah. With the neon colors. Rip, fam. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wings on it, you know? Oh, yeah. Maybe a license plate. Shut up. <laughs> I'm uh, currently driving, still driving the uh, 06 a Scion XB, little toaster, and uh, just picked up a 92 Toyota Crown Majesta. Nice, right-hand right drive. Right-hand drive, yeah. So what was that process like? It was super easy. Really? I got it from Josh at um, Nippon. Okay, cool. And Great dude. I, yeah, he showed me a list of auctions um, in my price range, and that was it. I picked out that one. He did the auction for me. He did all the registration, deregistration. It showed up with a title. Sweet. He gave me the keys and I wrote out. Yeah. Yeah. So importing something's that easy. Through him, it was. Yeah. I mean, I've, oh, yeah, I, I guess if you go go yeah. legit, depending on how trying you do to it, sneak right? it through Canada <laughs> yeah, or right, something. Right. No, like somebody right. else we know. Right. We're not going to drop it. Oh, in no. Gray market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all right. I guess. Not only is it, they have it. one gray market car, but they have two gray market cars. Mm. That's weird. Like, That's uh, saucy cars. I don't know uh-huh. how you do it with like cars that they don't make here. I don't know how that works, but I know cars that they do make here, like the Supra, for example. Right. You can hide that, right? Because it's you register. It kind of blends is, in, yeah. Right? But like certain cars that you don't, you can't get here. I don't know how you register those. Hmm. You don't. You don't. You just call it something else. You just drive it in carbon fiber and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's put a Dodge Neon VIN on it. And that's, what, that's what we do, right? That's it. Call it a two forty. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. No, it was super easy with Josh. Um, we're looking at maybe doing something else soon too. So, oh, nice. Yeah, he said he showed he showed it to me down the street, and I was like, bro, mm. yeah, you never know. We all have to check in on a on Saucy Podcast for that kind of oh, yeah. keep up to date. Yeah. Oh yeah, coming soon. Coming. Soon. It'll probably get here faster than your Beetle. <laughs> Shut the. Oh fuck. no! Two cars delivered from Japan before. <laughs> I swear. It's all right. It's sad that I got the memory thing on Facebook today when I bought oh, the and- Beetle. And it said three years ago. Three years, yeah. It's been in his possession for two years. Damn. <laughs> Are you still play, paying insurance? No. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey. Registration? Uh, I guess. Is it plated? You got a plate for it? I don't know. No, we have to ask Amanda that question. <laughs> you got to ask yeah. the handler for yeah, that one. Yeah, you got to ask the handler on that. Uh, <laughs> so what all is left on the Beetle? I don't know. Uh, there's like, <laughs> just you, you hope that you show up to prom and well, your date comes out. Uh, well, defeated. when I went to... uh. Yo, I had Kyle graffiti the sides, so it's no longer the Coca-Cola Beetle. Right. And there really wasn't much left to do. He had a couple uh, more pieces of metal work he had to do on it. Mm -hmm. And then um, I wanted to be able to switch out the bumpers on it, either take off the bumper that's on it because it's got like um, one of those Reese hitches on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not towing nothing that thing. (laughs) So oh. I don't want to hitch on a damn bumper. So I'm either trying to find a, you know, an air correct bumper for it mm-hmm. or just run like the T handle bumpers. Mm-hmm. Like they just come out, you know what they look like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and run those. If not, you know, I was kind of stuck with the trash that was on it. And so he's like, well, somebody welded them in. I was like, all right, we'll cut them out. Well, when you cut them out, he's like, okay, we'll just, we'll just buy new brackets and you know, I'll you know weld them in and you can be able to slide them in and out. And he couldn't find any brackets to fit that car. 
He tried everything big, at Hilltop. He had, I, he's in a couple different groups that I'm in. So mm-hmm. he's asking questions about that. Nobody's like, well, it should be this. You know, try, you know, brackets from a 67, like nothing lined up. So he just bought a whole new tail section. Oh, uh, okay. And he just welded in a whole just new tail section. Just going to put in a whole new section then. So that was, that was the last picture I got. Mm. Wow. I went from something easy to, damn. Right. Well, yeah. What's he, how's it, how's it rolling with the uh, coronavirus? Like, how's he? Oh, yeah. Going with, with all that going on. Has he said anything? He he talked. I talked to him the other day on the phone, and he was kind of like, he's like, man, I could get these jobs done, but I feel bad taking money out of people's hands when you don't know when the you know your next check's coming and this and that. I'm like, bruh, you got that money set aside. Bro, I mean, had, if they're paying I, you, I've had I've had uh, two years to have this money set aside for you to finish my car. Don't worry about me, bro. It's gonna be pretty amazing don't worry about when me. it comes out. Oh yeah, eventually. Yeah, twenty twenty one. Here we come. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yolo! If I can make it through this coronavirus, yeah, every every year that joke gets it gets bumped. better and it better. Gets bumped another year, it just year. gets better and better. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a horn church over here. All right. Oh my god! You nervous? I smell bacon. Okay, bacon. Mm. I'm leaking the fluid little over here. little okay. Denny's. <laughs> Man, <laughs> we'll ha- we'll have the producer go over and check out the AC. Yeah, the situation. <laughs> yeah. But cool. So tell me a little bit about the the saucy podcast where you guys got started out. And it's pure garbage. Okay. <laughs> Trash. But it's glory. It, it's it's, it's like, glorious garbage, like tar- right? Tiger yeah, King no. garbage or like garbage garbage. No, it's like, like entertaining like, shit. Oh yeah, it's entertaining. Yeah. All right. It depends on who you ask. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really. Don't ask don't ask the handler. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think that's why I, I I think I prefaced the post a little bit yeah. when I posted that out. That was I'm actually like, pretty accurate. Yeah, like if this ain't you, then don't listen. Right. Don't listen. If this is you Definitely, definitely that's like, come on in, yeah. Hell yeah. We, I mean, like I said, we were talking earlier, like we just love shooting the shit, talking, joking, mm-hmm. having fun, and we figured why not put that on for the ev- air? For everybody here. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Why not? And say shit that, you know, people will throw back at us later and, mm-hmm. you know, like my love for Wendy's fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about, speaking of trash, whatever. When I was eating my Burger King fries yesterday, I was thinking, I was like, these are so much better than Wendy's. Wendy's is the only place where I will go and purposely get a baked potato if, instead of fries. Damn it. Because their no, fries are no pure al- garbage. I have no allies. They are no, sorry. <laughs> None. I'm they are no None. good. Yeah. I love them. Junk. Well, whatever. I drive an XB, so what can I say? <laughs> uh. <laughs> do, you, do you like dip the fries in a milkshake or no. a Frosty or something mm-hmm. like straight up? No, I just eat them. Just oh. enjoy them. The only time I ever, I, have, I believe that I believe the word enjoy is ambiguous. <laughs> the only thing I ever do with Wendy's fries is put the chili on them. That's it. I mean, that's, 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 the, that's the only way they're good. Yeah. Oh, I was like Crystal's fries. That's the only way I really like those chili cheese. Oh, so you just like uh, blowing your back out. Mm. So Their fries are wet. Babe, like, I ain't <laughs> shit in three days. Let's go to damn <laughs> Crystal's. Let's go to Crystal's. Let's get it done. Let's load up. Yikes! <laughs> Thirty minutes later. <laughs> So the show scene, you guys have been up to, well, I guess Chattanooga. No, never, never made it. Never made it? We got close. It was in Atlanta. Got close? Yeah. So was that was because the show was canceled? Yep. Mm, we oh. found out like on the way, almost to Atlanta. Oh, that sucks. And we were like, well, time to make a decision. We was on 475 making our way around Atlanta. Oh, you're on the perimeter then. So he was on the, he was on his phone like, bro, they just canceled this shit. And I'm like, what? I mean, I even called the venue itself. Right. And said, you know, what's the deal? And they're like. State of emergency. And the mayor shut down everything in the city. So See. pulled all the permits. Nothing was happening. Jeez. So, yeah, we were like, well, let's get our money back and go home. Yep. Oh, I mean, everybody loves a round trip to Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just, we went to have a couple meals and <laughs> yeah, eight we- hours in a car, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we eat at? Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah, boy. And um, Sonny's. On the Sonny's. Way back. Yeah. <laughs> High, yeah, we never high got salute to, up 75 <laughs> baby but they're good they're um they're gonna have the show in october yeah they okay it. so it's, it didn't get it got postponed right, not correct, official yeah. like cancel yeah. cancel so they're calling it the fall meet instead of the spring meet okay and oh. let's let it rip october 3rd yeah. nice so. what's funny is i get off the cruise ship that thursday turn right around get in the car drive the chat oh, that, that next day yep let's go are you really gonna go on a cruise yeah he's taking a cruise yeah, so we we've got a cruise supposedly. Oh, when is that? June. You're taking a cruise too? Maybe. Oh, rip to all June. Guys. That's too soon, bro. <laughs> yeah, <it's way> too, <laughs> too soon. soon. Your nipples gonna fall off. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Why'd your nipples fall off? I got the corona. Where are you going? 
Uh, just to Nassau. Just to the weekend, to weekend, <laughs> weekend booze cruise. <laughs> he's Stairway going, to heaven. He's going to heaven. <laughs> oh, yeah, William. They haven't said anything about it being like not yet canceled. Not yet. Wow. Fortunately, it's not my dime. Okay. So True yeah, we. Uh, I, I'm very very lucky. the The company we work for, uh, we go on a workcation every year. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Are y'all so, hiring? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's the best benefit of the whole job, right there. Yeah, we've we've been on. Let's see, the three years I've been there, two cruises, and then last year we he rented a lake house up on Lake Lanier, up in out outside of Atlanta. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's a you got a good job. Yeah. Oh, you got a good job, job. job. <laughs> you got a career. <laughs> you don't get that those perks at jobs. Those are Hell career no. perks. <laughs> when he filled out his job, he didn't have to put in if he was a ex con or not. Right, right. There was no background <laughs> check for the job. It's just an action says we trust just you. Come on right. in. Just, just just come on in. Your family. Right. We're going on a vacation next that's week. Fun. Right. Yeah, but this the the cruise, I mean, this that stuff's crazy right now. I mean, they got that one ship now that came through. It had to get permission to come through the the Panama Canal. Yep. And then now, governor's talking about like, I don't want that ship here. Nope. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now it's got four dead bodies on it mm-hmm. and counting, and a hundred plus people with Sick. it. Oh no, you gotta send that back out. To yeah, feed, dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> we talked about this on our podcast. Where people where they messed up is when we had American citizens in mm-hmm. other countries with it. Mm-hmm. Instead of keeping them there and letting them, you know get treatment there nah let's bring them back to america let's you know let's treat them here Mm -hmm. you ignorant son of a bitch well they did that with uh they did that with ebola didn't they yeah they had those couple folks and they ended up flying them back like one was in atlanta and the other one i think was chicago they're just breathing it all through the airplane and just (laughs) messing around dumb 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 dumb. i mean that that's how you plant seeds yeah (laughs) yeah no it's so it's like are we are we that naive and that dumb as a country apparently yeah, here we uh, it's it's been nuts, absolutely like the, nuts. The New York governor was saying today in a um, press conference, you know, the whole uh, self quarantining and um, the social distancing and stuff, mm-hmm. it's all self discipline. He's like, we don't have no, we don't have no discipline. No, clearly, no. Just have been to the gate station. Over no, there? just go to the Saint. Just go to Saint Augustine <laughs> yeah. Beach yeah. this past weekend. Oh, that's why they shut down. Mama, oh, yeah, that's, that's why they ended up there. having to shut it down. Oh, yeah. But that one, the aerial shot they had. I mean, you could see the county line. There's you nothing, could see the chrome yeah, just spreading nothing throughout in Duval. Whole- <laughs> well, they're saying all, all those kids that were in Miami that were doing their spring break, and and I was like, oh, I don't care, man. Like, right. I'm here to have a good time. Whatever. And they're talking about, like, how many of those kids now have it. Oh, do they really? Yeah. It, it is. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's probably the same ones that were like licking toilet seats and ice cream oh, yeah. and everything else and putting it back. Yeah. It's all like well, they said there's an infant that has it. What? Did you see that? No. Mm-mm. Under under one years old has it. Wow. Yeah. Weird. My wife was telling me she's a um, biology major. Oh. And she was telling me how um how the, the disease how it kills people. Mm-hmm. It pretty much it lines your lungs and hardens. If oh, it's a, yeah, I heard something like you, it crystallizes in your lungs. And you pretty much you can't breathe. You suffocate. Breathe, you suffocate. Yeah. So, well, there was, I think that's why they need the ventilators. Well, the they were saying they the air in and out to keep, you move, keep your lungs moving. Well, this one guy they were interviewing, he was saying that his doctor was trying something different and was making him get up and move around mm. and like made him like literally like hospital gown and everything outside and walk make his lungs work. and making his lungs work. And, and just by doing that, it was starting to like break it like the, the crystallization up. Uh, and I so they so. started doing that like every few hours, they would wake him up like, Nope, got to move, got to walk, got to stand up. And after about, he said a week and a half, two weeks of this, he finally started recovering from it. Damn. I can see that working. Yeah, so it's just a matter. You well, gotta, they do the same move. thing. If you uh, like when I had my back fused, mm-hmm. next day I was they had me up and walking. They was like, no, I can't lay in bed. You got to have you moving and get build your muscles up. I'm like, man, I just want to lay here and chill for a minute. Shit, <laughs> no, <laughs> give me I some of that hospital like, jello. Rehab starts. I just today. had a, I just had an eight hour surgery yesterday, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. when is your fatty ass up over that roof? Right, need you out of here. So let's get a pulse from you guys on. Car scene, car culture right now in Northeast Florida. I know you guys, you guys, you guys have been out and about at a lot of places, a lot of meets, both local meets, shows. Let me get a fresh one. Yeah, we've uh, played that song. Okay. Song of my people. (laughs) You have to disinfect these mics. That's all right. I get a little Lysol. I don't look it. Don't do it. 
<laughs> That's how you it's get corona. The corona. Back. <laughs> the, what did you do? Shake these up? The car scene. I didn't buy them. You did. The car oh, scene right. in Northeast Florida. It's the same 150 cars mm-hmm. at every event. Yeah. And they're hit or miss. 10 footers. I mean, <laughs> cars and coffee up. is where you see the best stuff, I think, in my opinion. Really? Yeah. Facts. That's that's from from what I'm seeing at these. I mean, they're letting. Well, the car shows that we go to. I guess it it vary. It, dep- it depends on what you're into, right? Like the stuff we're going to, the more like tuner dedicated stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, you see a lot of ten footers. Like Instagram is. Instagram like, makes them look way better. Right, than they they're are getting in swindled on what they're actually bringing. You know, oh, gotcha, what gotcha. Sh- a good photographer good. can make a shit box look good. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I do I for mean, a living. <laughs> So, it can be done. It definitely yeah. can be done. So a lot of these shows are filled with with cars that shouldn't be there because they're just wanting these um the, the, the money. You the, know, clout, the clout to, chasers. Well, I mean, the the shows want to pack the venue, so they're going to yep. let a lot of this stuff get in, mm-hmm. you know. Cuz that's what most of these shows are like 50 bucks. Right. There's a few. There really is a few like Week Fest, they're very picky mm-hmm. about who they let in. Yeah. Um That's about it. <laughs> No, Riverside. <laughs> Riverside's another Oh, yeah. One. Yeah. Um, yeah. Simply clean. I mean, like my orange car, I mean, to me, it's, it looks good in photos, but in person, I mean, I can nick pick that car apart. Well, as an owner, too, you you it doesn't matter if it's a, a no-foot car. Like, you get up on it, you know there's certain things that, oh, I wish I would have done this or this was this way, oh, that, sure. et cetera. The orange car was just, to me, was just a, uh, it was just supposed to fill the void while the beetle was being done. That's the whole reason I got the car. Mm, okay. It was like, well, that car's being worked on. I'll get something else to, you know, give me something with. to mess with. Yeah. Two years later. But you're, you're like, you're not under some weird premonition of what it, what it is. Like, it is yeah, what it is. It you, is. You're not is. pretending like it's something Hell else. No. You know what I mean? Like, right. It's got, it's got a Mako paint job. It's got down Borbit reps on it. You know, it does have like hard to find parts on it. But I mean, mm-hmm. other than that, just because it's a damn 92 Volkswagen, that's it. Yeah, you drive it around. Mm-hmm. I'm driving the piss out of that car. There are some really good shows that they have a lot of stuff like Slammed Enough, mm-hmm. um, Stance Nation. I think they're great shows. They offer a lot. They have some entertainment value. That's the whole reason why we were going to Chattanooga because we wanted to see something different. Right. Because yeah. it's not going to be the same cars that we've seen for the past three years. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's what Ernie was talking about. Um, him and I were talking a little bit about, you know, he's he's been to, of course, a lot of shows in the area, but he felt the Chattanooga show was great because – you see a lot of things you don't see like yep. a lot of cars come to that event from midwest northeast you know yep. kind of its location brings out a lot of different areas it's a good yep. spot to, to bring up i mean there's guys from south florida that go yeah you know what i mean we pass them on the we, way we, back we met up with them at a rest stop <laughs> they but, drive um, nothing but vip cars oh yeah um, static slammed mm-hmm. driving them suckers all the way to chattanooga from south florida mm. wow but yeah, it's a, it's a good show. There's there's a few that you know what I mean. Quality shows. We also do like a lot of um, local stuff too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Charity stuff to raise um, money for people. Or yeah, we did charities. cruising for kids at the church. That was cool. We always do that. Yeah. Okay, we try to do that every year. Yeah. Um. So what makes in your mind like now having gone to a bunch of these events like which what makes a good show like wh- what would be something either someone is either doing them right or could change to make it right that really makes a show level up. If you're, oh, well, well, there's two things. There's a huge difference between a car meet, which is like Simply Clean Riverside. and Riverside. And what's it, the clean, is clean culture considered a? No, because they, they give out top 25. Okay. okay. Yeah. A meet, that's what it is. Is it, you, you pay your 25 bucks or whatever, you, you know, post up. You're basically there hanging out. You're hanging out, meeting new people. Yep. Seeing new shit. Mm-hmm. Car show. You're paying to be judged. Mm-hmm. Some of these people that pay their $25, $30, mm-hmm. they don't even get judged. They just get looked over. It's like some some of these cars just get a pass over because of who they are mm-hmm. instead of what the car actually is. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, no. I've, I've definitely seen it. That yeah, goes. it could be Yeah, it could be either the, the good thing or, I mean, to that person at least, right. just because of the relationship they have with the judge or it's – bad yeah. thing just because the judge is just dismissing the vehicle altogether right. like and, and in some cases like i was saying you have to dismiss some of them cars not to be 
you know, a jerk about it, but like some of those cars, you know, you can tell, you already know, like, is that a contender or is it not? Yeah. Well, Correct. like you said, if they're a 10 footer or if you're a judge and you know what you're looking at and you kind of already have an idea of what the field looks like, mm-hmm. I mean, you kind of like, well, you know, you already know. Right? Yeah. You know, and to your point though, they, they did pay, they should get judged. But I think part of that is already being judged when they roll in. If there's 300 cars, how are you going to pull that off? You have, have a lot hours. of judges. Right. right. And so I get that, but like, what, do, like, what do you think is some of the things that the shows are doing right? Like he was saying, um, well, I'm a fatty. So if, as long as you got a lot, plenty of food trucks, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Give me food and some place right. to sit. Yeah. Some, yeah. Cold, some, some shade entertainment. I think like slam, like slam enough, for example, they right. had a, um, an MC for yep. the event. All day. And he was going around talking to people. They had the cameras following him. He yep. was oh, okay. like a hype man on the, you know, on the stage. If and you're he, he was on too because he had a YouTube channel, so yeah. people know who he was. If you're charging $60 to come to a show, you're going to need something for your – you need some value. Yeah, I don't want to just park. And right. especially for an eight-hour day, yeah, you need something. Right. And that's the I've, – I've noticed that recently about a lot of shows. Like some of these shows have now become – all day events like i remember things used to be you roll in at you know eight nine and you're done around lunch yeah right. now you're rolling in at well, six see, or seven and you're done around the, eight or nine the bigger shows that are day. like in um that are in daytona the the was it down there the, the ocean center the ocean center mm-hmm. oh yeah. i don't mind doing eight hours in there because it's inside it's air conditioned well, and there's stuff to do around the venue do. you can walk you can leave the street. you can come back <laughs> blah blah but these local shows that are trying to do it for eight hours, you can't do that, bro, because one, you're outside. Mm-hmm. It's Florida. People want to cook. People just want to do four hours tops. And, yeah. and di- that's what my wife, my wife will not do a car show. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's how cars and coffee has gotten so big because it's, I mean, a couple, two, three hours in the morning, hang right. out, shoot the shit. You're right. done. That's yep. it. Out. Yeah. As it starts getting hot. Out of 2000. Yeah. Yep. You see the cool stuff and talk yeah. to the right people and talk to me and you're out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> well, and there's a little bit of everything. Right. I that's mean, now, like, I mean, if you're going to a tuner uh, event I, and I that's what you're yet, looking at, I have yet to see hookers or blow at cars and coffee. Well, you gotta go around to the corner right. of the JC. You're, you're not looking at the right, I'm right spot. Not parking right garage. Spot. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you're hanging around the exotics too much. Yeah. That's the top deck of the parking garage. <laughs> Man, I need to hang out with the 350Z crowd. <laughs> the imports. Yeah. <laughs> so, we talked about what makes a show good. What are shows not doing right? And you don't necessarily don't necessarily have to call out individual no, 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 shows, sure. but just kind of in general, like what do you feel some of them are either trying to do and not executing well, or what are they just missing the mark on? Not policing the um, not policing the event because mm-hmm. we've been to some shows and these dudes put their speakers on outside of their car and blare their espanol <laughs> for at max you know 158 db for five minutes first of all i don't know what the hell you're saying second of all that shit's <laughs> making my ears bleed turn that shit off right right you know if you want that go to a sound competition don't come to it don't come to this yeah except for a part show uh, having a having an event outside in the middle of summer in florida is a terrible idea Bad that's, look. The, that's the one thing that's, that's, a, that's, a, bad, that's a bad look have an indoor event yeah in indoor some folks they've tried to put on like evening or night events mm-hmm. but i just really haven't seen any that have caught on <laughs> what? Don't that Modelo coming back boy <laughs> that Modelo trying to come back oh. to me <laughs> oh you thought yanni depp was coming i thought you were no nah, I'm, I'm crying right now <laughs> yeah it's, what i don't get is apparently you can rent out the florida or uh, the jacksonville fairgrounds for fairly cheap I'd imagine because there's a lot of shows there. Yeah. Life I mean, there's a lot so of things just in general. Like so, the, I mean, I don't see why, you know, if you want to do a show during the summer, contact, you know, whoever you need to to rent out that place because that sucker is fully air conditioned. They have uh, food vendors there. Plenty of parking. Oh, yeah. you know, plenty of parking. Good to go. The lighting's not the best inside that space, but. But it works. But it, yeah, it is. It's. I mean, it's, yeah, it's better than nothing. Sure. Yeah, it's better than having thousand degree suns baking. But it's a yeah. large space, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, for what Jacksonville would bring, yeah, it's mm-hmm. perfect. So, is the local scene trash? <laughs> okay, <laughs> growing that's, or not? That's, that's what you were getting at. I don't know what you were getting at. It depends. And has it has it changed? I tend to, so. I've been asking a lot of folks about that, like because I know you guys have been in the car game in the area for a while, so you've been able to see things kind of come and go. Mm-hmm. Where are we kind of at now versus you know five ten years ago? I think old iron's still running the scene locally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and cars, I mean, Volkswagens and stuff are more accepted in that crew 
but like no you talking both air and water cooled yeah, or just air all that and yeah yeah older v, v dubs for some reason you know like they we can bounce back and forth yeah you can be everywhere but like tuner stuff they don't want no part mm-hmm. of See, us at yeah. their events like Callahan cruisers they do a lot of stuff a lot of car shows right if he was to bring his xb out there that car shunned nothing nothing shunned. touches that car i'm sorry <laughs> no they like are these at like meets or shows shows, shows. you know if you want to go to a they won't even show, they, they won't even have a class made for newer shit yeah they, they just tend to not they want just, it there. they frown upon it there's really not a whole lot car show wise for modern in jacksonville in my opinion yeah right so that's kind of what i see i mean see that's what I, i'm kind of um they don't really have it ever has with the beetle i can go to a a Catalina cruiser show and i can stunt you know with yep. that because it's old as a 66 but then I can take that car and turn right around and drive to Daytona and go to Slammed Enough, air it out, mm-hmm. and it'll fit right in with the young kids. Like, oh, shit, you know, it's got this, this, and this. Blah, yeah, it crosses yeah. over right. well. Where some cars can't do that. <laughs> Here I go. Can't like, right. <laughs> but, I mean, and it's, it's weird, though. It's it's a very specific group that's not really – that this kind of frowned upon. Right. Um, because you could take a Lamborghini out there and they'd be all over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, I guess you could take a Lamborghini anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but they're probably their experience with tuners is fast and furious, and oh, yeah. you know, and and that's kind of been a thing Bar for a house. long time. Like we've seen that that domestic import, but even outside of that, like you're talking about classic vehicles, like classic vehicles. It doesn't matter if you were rocking a '99 Camaro SS or anything else. Mm-hmm. I mean. It wasn't an old SS, right? That's yeah. it. That's how they think. But my thing, my life, they got is, that. They got that Joe Dirt mentality. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> you like them spin a tires, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what happens when these guys aren't around? You know what I mean, right? These car clubs are just going to phase out, right? Know? That's why Joey and um, Joey and Porsche Keegan, mm-hmm. they started their own thing. They were in Callahan Cruisers, but they didn't like that the uh, their outlook on things. Mm-hmm. They wanted to bring in. The oh, newer new cars, blood, yeah. the new blood, because guess what happens when all these old dudes die? Oh yeah, the cars go to clubs over. Go yeah. to Barrett Jackson, and yeah. somebody yeah. else takes it. You, know, you need no some. You need some. Yeah, you need somebody else to uh, come in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want the events to continue, like if that's really right. what you want, then sure. yeah, you've got to start bringing in some younger kids. Oh, yeah. Um, and they and they've kind of even starting to see that shift at like some of like even the high end events, like the Million Island Concourse, they just had. Not only do you have all these old vintage multi-million dollar toys and everything else, but this past year um, they just started as the first time they had the, it's called the uh, Dream Cars display or something. Mm. But it was a lot of newer cars. I mean, it was still like high, like some exotics and things like that. But it was Is that a Supra. <laughs> actually, there was a baby blue Supra there. Okay, nice. Yeah, but um, but that's how they were getting some of the younger kids in. And then they brought in three big automotive YouTubers to judge the class. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. And so, the, like, I mean, that was great. I mean, that's how you start bringing in a whole other group. Because that's, sure. I mean, if you look at, you know, kids, I mean, we say that. I mean. I was going to ahead and put this out there now. When I uh, unveil the Beetle, and if I don't win Best in Show at the first show I go to, <laughs> I'm fist fighting everybody. <laughs> Line them up. All right. I'm fist fighting everybody. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. I, I see y'all looking. Right. Disclaimer. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, you've got to be able to bring in young blood. Yeah, always. Um, and I, I don't know how they're going to do that. I mean, there's a stigma with the with the tuner stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. I still, I still don't like camera game. Right. There's that mm. that people aren't into. You know, and yeah. what that brings and oh, squatty potty trucks. Right. And oh god, that's another one. <laughs> People camper gang and those squatty potty trucks can start their own club. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they're all getting some twelve hundred dollar checks soon, so hopefully there'll be I some mean, leveling kits going. It, Get yeah. it fixed. Straighten those wheels out. Yeah. Sell those invisible trailers. They can they can finish the lift and they can get an air ride to you know bring that camper up when they're driving, air it out when they need to. That'd be nice. That'd some be that nice. Shit is downright dangerous. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, super sketchy. So we talked um, some about the health of the car culture and the scene before. And we've kind of talked about how we feel that kids these days aren't into cars as much as, I mean, even just our generation and maybe just another one after it. Like we're kind of seeing this shift of, you know, I could just Uber wherever I need to go. That type of thing. Right. Mm, I don't know about that in in our area. Oh, there's a, I mean, uh, it's bro science, but there, there are stats to back it up. I can't pull, I don't want to have them, but, Mm -hmm. um, Less and less people are 
getting their driver's license. Young people right. aren't getting their driver's license. Mm-hmm. Like I think I to, broke it. To your point, like <laughs> they're not. You know, they're Ubering everywhere. Home, <laughs> they're, they're Ubering everywhere. Mayday. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, so who knows? I think. I think really. You know, like in our generation, any of us can go out and we can work on our car if we needed to. Right. Today's kids, they can't do that. No. No. They, they have no idea. What, they have no idea what makes camber. They have no idea what they need to buy. They don't, none of that mm-hmm. shit. They just want their car to look cool. Mm-hmm. And today's kids are more clout chasers than they are car enthusiasts to me. What's well, the IG generation? Oh, yeah. That's it. Big That's time. a lot to blame for it. Yeah, I mean, the, you you look at a lot of folks now that just follow trend instead of trying to do whatever their own thing is. They're more worried about how many likes I'm going to get, how many comments I'm going to get. That's a fact, dude. There's a guy. His name's Dookie something, but he's got a crown like he has. Mm-hmm. Well, it this, ain't like mine. Oh no, no. <laughs> okay, the the base of it right. is based around it once a was. crown. <laughs> <laughs> this dude has gone off the wall with this car to make it his own. You know, it's it's, his, it's like Boso Zuku style. Like the oh wild, yeah, huge, yeah, that huge, crazy huge wide yeah. fenders. He's got big pink fuzzy interior. You know, roll cage. He's doing all this stuff. Big good on him. Big exhaust. He gets so much. Oh, he gets shit on. He gets so hard. much shit. Right, and he's he's gonna drift this car. He's building it to drift. Yeah, this car is gonna be big turbo, like phenomenal when he takes it out there. That's awesome. It'll, it's gonna get, break day one. Oh yeah, like, day one. Is, yeah, but still. <laughs> But he's building what he wants but he, to build. He plays a glory, Ricky he, Bobby. He's doing it the way yeah. he wants to do it. He's not following anybody's build. He's just doing Dookie. Right, 100% mm-hmm. unique. Now, shit you not, that's his name, Dookie. Dookie's, ma- <laughs> Dookie's Majestic on that's, IG. Yeah. Dookie's Majestic. Yep. Yeah, it's we'll have a, to look that one up. Majesta, so yeah. <laughs> and it's hot pink. I like it. Yeah. Well, the, the interior is like hot pink, and the outside is like Pepto, Pepto pink. Mm-mm. It's white. Is it white? Yeah. I, thought he's, I thought he already did some paint on it. Uh, it's a mess. So that's like Bondo. That pink is Bondo. Oh. <laughs> Might be just the way the light's hitting it. Yeah. That's Bondo. That is body filler. Right. That's nice. not paint. It's going to be phenomenal whenever he gets done. Uh, my son was dying to get his license. Oh, yeah? He can't wait to drive. So I've like got hope. I'm like... That's awesome. He's and, to buy he's, a car and he's and out there it. driving his uh, stepdad's truck so he can learn how to drive stick. Sweet. You know? yeah. So he's, he's doing... He's to put some speakers in it. And I'm like, let's, let's mod this thing. Let's, yeah, nice. let's go. So, yeah, my oldest daughter, she she was pretty quick to want to drive. Mm-hmm. The oldest, though, I mean, she had no desire to drive at all. My kid has no interest in the shit at all. No. Was, it was odd. Like, when she turned 16, of course, she had, like, a 16th birthday party, all that stuff. Dude, how old are you? Me? Yeah. I'm about 39. <laughs> about? About. What do you mean? Give or take. <laughs> <laughs> Have you crossed over to 40 yet? No. Okay. I got I got three hundred and thirty something days. Okay. How many kids you got? Two. And one's already sixteen? Twenty six and twenty. <gasps> you got me beat. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you got me beat. I'll let y'all do the math. Damn, right. son, as soon as you found that thing, you was in it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Love them to both. They're my stepdaughters. I love them both. Hell but yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That, the, the, Ooh, I'll, I'll credit that to the handler. See, oh. I was smart and found myself an older woman. And, uh, yeah, so you just, you, know, you did, just messed up. You just messed up. You don't ever say you found an older woman. Oh, experienced. <laughs> there you go. Seasoned. There, there you go. Seasoned. Experienced. Or, she said experienced. There that, you go. That'll be the adjective we roll go. with. All right. There you go. She's going to stab you, when, you yeah. when you get in the car. No, I'm happy because I've never changed a diaper in my life. There you go. Um, so yeah, it's like skipping the the puppy stage. Yeah, you straight like straight inter- they, intermediate to adult. Yeah, dog. they could make up themselves breakfast. There you Perfect. go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what my wife says. She she says I had two kids and no stretch marks. Hell yeah! Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't care either. But yeah, no. Girl, so, you wearing them tiger stripes? Bring your ass here. You know what I mean? But yeah, <laughs> so. Well, I mean, and then kind of going back, like her 16th birthday party. So there's a bunch of kids there. Most of them were either 16 or 17. One kid out of the fifteen or sixteen kids there drove. The yeah, rest, the rest of them bus. still. The rest of them, none of them had their license. And I asked because I was, I showed up because I went to go grab some stuff for the party, and I, and I'm like, she goes, well, everybody's here, and I pull up in my still driveway, and there's car. plenty of space to still park in my driveway. Yeah, none of them had a. I said, I said, do any of y'all drive? <laughs> And like the one one kid raised his hand, and like four or five of them had packed into his car, but that was oh, it. Damn. 
I was my like, son's 17 and he hasn't got his driver's license yet. Really? Yeah. Does he have any like want to? I he's got a, he's got a whole lot of something. He, I don't know if it's want to. <laughs> but, but it's not that. Yeah. It ain't no, that. I was I think day I turned 16 that That's morning right. like I was up. I had my license. Yeah, per minute 15 to mm-hmm. driver's ed class. I was like, oh yeah, give me the keys. This thing. Yep. Soon, as soon as I got, as soon as I turned 16, I went and got my driver's license. Did the driver's license test. Failed that bitch. I told him, fuck y'all. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Came back the next day. Passed that bitch because she she asked me a question on the fly, and that kind of threw me off. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait, they ask you how old are you? They ask you questions. <laughs> Shut up. Mine was on a computer. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the actual driving test. You had to have somebody with you. I didn't take the driver's. But they asked you questions yeah. while you drove. What? Yeah. She hit me with a damn little side gear. I'm like, oh, what? That's where you'd be like, hey, hey, you're not supposed to talk to me right. while I drive. She's like, uh, me. she's like, if you park uphill, how do you supposed to turn the wheel? Or how do you park the car? I'm like, well, I'm driving right now, so I can't tell you how you know, I'm supposed to park the car. <laughs> we supposed to like, why? What are you wheels? suggesting? You're supposed, to, you're supposed to turn the wheels towards the curb. <laughs> oh. It depends if you're up or downhill. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, so I came back and I said, like, go ahead and ask me that question, bitch. Go ahead. <laughs> I got you with this. <laughs> I took driver's ed class. I didn't have to take a road test. Yeah, neither did I. But I look. <laughs> Welcome to the state of Florida. I also dude. looked out because the guy, the teacher who was over the driver's ed course that I took was also one of my good basketball buddies' dads. Well, so we inside. just, yeah, we just messed around for six weeks. There you All go. he did was yell at us and tell us to turn the radio down. Oh, there you, there go. you go. So, yeah, yeah that was sweet. <laughs> Y'all don't this play guy. none but Leonard Skinner in this thing. <laughs> Free bird. He's a black guy, Forrest. Oh. <laughs> there wasn't play, a lot of free y'all bird. Don't, y'all don't play nothing but Leonard Skinner in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it was a good time. But yeah, I, I agree. It seems like there's a huge split. I mean, you get this one. What did, group. You, what did you take your uh, driving test in? Uh, Ford Escort station wagon. Oh, boy. What about you? I didn't. Tell oh, you that's that. right. Because I'm. Well, you still took it. What did you drive in driver's head? Uh, I don't even remember. I don't remember high school. We had a couple. Cr- <laughs> we had a we had a couple old boxy Crown Vicks and the the Escort station wagons. Hold on, whatever first coast had. That's what I drove. Were you sixteen in New York or and down no, here? I did it. I did it here and you're oh, trash. First coast. You're so trash. Yes. I did mine in an eighty four Camaro. <laughs> Six six, three hundred eighty five pound, sixteen year old, <laughs> and his little ass Camaro. I could barely fit in. That's my little my little grandma's car. Right? That I bought, you know, bought for the thing. Your grandma had a sixty six Camaro. Eighty six, eighty five. Still sixty six. I was like, damn, grandma. <laughs> Get lit, boy. Good. Grandma liked to watch Night Rider. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. She she, she packed me, my brother, which is a monster my papa and her in this car and we drove all the way to tampa to go to tampa uh, to go to bush gardens <laughs> that was a perfect car <laughs> for vacationing in not no <laughs> the only thing that it came she it was, i think it was my papa parking the car in a damn gas station he jumped the damn curb stop and was stuck <laughs> stuck <laughs> so she had to get out and i lifted on it. i lifted the front of the car up while my brother kicked the curb stop out from underneath it yeah, just so we can just so we can leave. Huge humans. Yeah, you and you and your brother are big. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm big. I'm not, big in the car scene too. <laughs> 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 well, I know you. You guys. Uh, occasionally, the brother has been been a, a quasi not I wouldn't say guest, but a uh, virtual guest in conversation and oh, at whispers. least on the oh, show. Oh, oh, whispers whispers the <laughs> <laughs> and he what? He's a power lifter. Yeah. Mm. Him and my brother in law. Giant people. That, yeah, that is Large that is not a game I want to play already. Oh, look, a tornado warning. We haven't had rain in like three weeks, but here, here comes Dorothy. Oh, <laughs> like we don't have enough problems. It's going to be just twisting coronavirus all over the place. <laughs> it's just blowing it everywhere. Oh, lightning Ooh. strike. Hey, there we go. Hey, that's all right. At least we're at a, a good solid concrete facility. Might be the last hey. one. Yeah, might be. Yeah. <laughs> and Joey's dead. <laughs> well, we talked about you guys making it to episode fifty. Eh, a little short. Who knows? We're checking out at episode 49. So you mentioned from New York. So with all the other New York stuff in the news, what do you guys think about the uh, border stops? Do it. 95 and 10 necessary. where they're actually like, yeah, like, yeah. bam, come through. Let's see some papers. My, my dad was stuck in it Sunday for two hours. This is mm. like Kosovo, man. You got to show your papers to get through places. It's and bad. Shit. Like, well, someone was saying. I wanted to ask my dad, like, are you a, just a complete idiot? Because, like, who the hell goes <laughs> to Georgia to play golf, for one? 
He went and played in um, Kings oh. Bay or something. He smokes a lot of weed. A lot of weed, <laughs> but still. <laughs> That's not well, a, that's not the point. And it wasn't a secret that they were sh- shutting down ninety five yeah, either. Told, yeah. yeah, heads up. I mean, come back a back road. He said he didn't even make it to the state line. It was already backed up. Oh, I bet. I mean, that's ninety five. Yeah. That's a ton of traffic. Oh yeah. They tell people don't use that route. Like, it's a bad I'm, just, I'm just I'm just glad he was in his truck because he's got a new uh, Dodge Ram. Mm-hmm. So he's got all the all the bells know, and whistles. Oh, yeah, he was all comfortable. Yeah. yeah, he was comfortable. I'm pretty sure he smoked like three or four joints while he was in there, but hey, comfortable. Sleepy mind <laughs> autopilot. Yeah, he was on another stratosphere. Yeah, I mean it's necessary. They've got to stop that travel, mm-hmm. and that's one of the things they were talking about. What everyone's asking why they don't shut down the state here, right? And they don't want people to travel if there's a ban- if there's a stay at home like a mandatory. Yeah, quarantine. mandatory. Yeah, yeah, people are gonna leave and go where there's not one. It's kind of like what New York and New Jersey are doing. Right yeah, now. well, they're kind of they're starting to see that. I want to say one of the counties up in um, Georgia just issued. Um, Was it Camden? Yeah, I think it was Canada yeah. that issued the curfews. Mm-hmm. So I mean, now not only is it Jacksonville residents would lose their fucking mind. Oh yeah, we. I don't know. It's already kind of spooky around town at times. Like you get around to the right areas, and it's just like, hmm. Yeah, it's a bad. Thing. I get nothing my, going. I get on. my new lens on Monday. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go downtown to do me some uh, landscape shots. Now's the time to do it. Yeah. I've been seeing a bunch it's of empty. folks, even like down here in St. Augustine, taking shots. Like St. George Street, empty. Oh yeah, Bayfront's empty. You see our home. You follow Ernie on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His bike ride through. Oh, yeah. He rode like, like 15, 20 miles. Nobody there. Like not a soul around. Where at? St. Augustine. Here in Saint, right? downtown St. Augustine. Yeah. The old Dang. city. Like empty. Hmm. Yeah. He went over, crossed that bridge over on the island, came back to see, the historic where, that's district. Where, that's, where, that's where you got to be fucked up with a bicycle. We ain't crossing that bridge, bro. <laughs> oh, dude. It's got to be all flat plain. <laughs> He's been riding that bike for like three days straight. I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Like you have an electric vehicle. He's killing time while it's charging. <laughs> Doing something. <laughs> right. But yeah, so and then someone mentioned too that um there's some local counties that are like randomly stopping cars with out of state plates. Damn. And and I'm like, like ask, him, ask him like why they're here. Yeah. But without so I that's where I kind of get a little issue with is because I mean in order to be pulled over, you're supposed to have cause. Right. That's a little profile-ish. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's one thing for a state to kind of filter things at a border. But, like, mm-hmm. once you're in the state, right. I mean, like, that, why are you pulling me over? Yeah. Why you pull, like, you better have a reason to pull me over. Well, for, like, rip to these Navy dudes who are, like, out yeah. of state cars, you know, yeah. who moved here. Like, those dudes are getting pulled over. And can they give you tickets for other shit when they pull you over just for that? I wonder. When me, it was like it was a uh, Saturday, maybe. Me and my wife are coming back from something, and we must have got passed by a caravan of RVs from Quebec. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, Canada's, Canada's that bad? What do they do in Canada? Anything? No, they, they, they were shut going, the border. They were going yeah, back. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. I know they shut the border down, so you, you can't travel back and forth. I mean, Canadian citizens can go back into the country, right. but no I don't. Th- I don't think they're letting anybody out, and they're not letting anybody else in. Makes sense. Um, I don't know about like in the cities or anything, but I imagine that's probably pretty similar to everything else. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me, fellas. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so I. I don't know. It's just nuts. It's gonna get worse. I think. I, th- I think we've got another two to three weeks of it getting worse before it even starts getting better. So the three weeks for the peak, I think, of what's to come. That's what they're saying. Estimating. Yeah. They keep calling the the apex. We gotta get past the apex. <laughs> Shit, we ain't got to it. I don't right. Know. It's like, <laughs> We're still coming yeah, up that to big it. Navy ship in New York trying to handle all the bodies they got up there. And oh, what about that one? So there's another a carrier that has some uh, Navy guys with that have been confirmed with it what? and they're talking about not letting that carrier mm. back into port. Nope. Yeah. And the admiral of the ship or commander or captain or whatever is pissed. Cause he's like, he's like, you're quarantining the guys together. So he's, he's right. like, it's I'm not about, like we have a lot of space to I'm spread to, out on I'm the about, ship. I'm about to lose my whole ship is what you're telling. Yeah. Me. Yeah. He, he's yeah. So, I mean, I haven't heard what has come from that, but I read like the front end of that story yeah, recently, and I was like, "Man, people, that's a of, nuts!" A lot of people a lot thought of people that uh, that big yeah. ship was going to um, New York. That was going to be like a makeshift thing for the COVID, but I was like, "Nah, that's where they're going to be sending people who don't have COVID." The Navy hospital, no, no, ship? the the big white one, the Navy ship, the Navy hospital, yeah, ship. Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody thought that um, they're not treating people on that thing. 
No, they're treating regular people on it. Oh, so they're separating they're, out. They're making all. They're making yeah for non yeah. Oh, well, it's I mean, it works. You just it's they got overflow then, I guess. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Run out of beds. It's pretty much what it's all for. We said there was body bags and in, in the hallways Dude, of the hospital. I've seen videos of them loading bodies up in the back of semi trailers. Oh, the the fridge uh, the refrigerated trucks. Yeah, it's bad. And and people are the indecency. Why would you even want to record that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The things you choose to capture. Yeah, I might. Well, it's like people record fights and shit like that. Uh, fighting's one thing. I don't know. Dead bodies being loaded into a truck. No. Yeah, it's not very world star. Mm-hmm. No. No. Well, let's try to. Womp, womp, womp. Yep. <laughs> yeah, where's, that, where's that sound effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where's that womp, 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 trying to listen for a train oh the oh. warning oh oh gotcha 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 yeah for for those that uh are watching this at later or listening to it later we're currently under a tornado warning as we record <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and we've got a glass. gigantic glass wall next to us <laughs> nice Get on yeah. the other side of Joey. Yeah. Only the best. <laughs> oh, you want me to stand in front of you? Please. <laughs> Switch <Maybe>. seats. <laughs> Switch. So we talked about the car scene. We talked about kids either not wanting their license or wanting their license. What got, got what got you into um into cars? My dad was a car guy. Really? Yeah. So yeah, so he was uh he did a lot of racing in his youth, had everything from a four twenty seven Stingray, had a road runner for a little while. Ooh. Yeah, I had quite a bit of stuff. Um, and I really like, I liked cars, but I wasn't like, oh my God, you know, really into them. Um, until I went to a race, my dad, I think we had gone to like Daytona or something like that when I was 13 or 14. Cause my dad grew up in Daytona. So he had like remembered beach racing and, oh, and everything all in between. So when we did that, I was like, damn, this is cool. Um, and my parents had, so that's, they bought, we have a 69 Volkswagen convertible okay. and my parents bought it. They were the second owners in 72. That's when they bought it. And so the car sat for five years in the driveway and then another four years in the garage. And when I turned 15, I said, Hey, if I can get the bug running, you know, can I have it for a car? And he's like, have at it. Right. <laughs> he's like, what? Deal. And, uh, I did not know a damn thing about cars at the time. Um, he had a Haynes manual or Shilton's manual, one of the two. Mm-hmm. And there were tools. I knew how to take things apart. And so the next day he'd come out in the garage and fenders were off and seats were out and things were just, and he's like, well, I guess it's time to teach him something. Yeah, so y'all <laughs> built it together? Yeah. Yeah. So we built that out and then um, got into, started getting into some of the tuner stuff. Like that's when I ended up meeting Ernie and a bunch of the folks um senior year of high school i picked up a turbo mr2 oh, that i still have as yes. well so the mr2 and the Beetle are both still in are the you garage watching, um do you watch uh mighty car mods on mm-hmm. youtube yep you see he's building an MR2? yep 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 yeah th- it's funny to see him kind of start popping up now because right. they just kind of like a lot of those 90s jdm cars just kind of got put to the wayside for a yeah. while you know, 300 z surgeons now yeah everything um and it's cool to see him become popular again because i love it like drive mine and i think it aged like the the design aged really really well so it still has a pretty modern look to it oh, yeah. even oh. though it's that's 30 years old this year it's a 91s yeah. or so 29 but yeah so it's cool like showing up and people ask like oh you know what like because they don't really know what it is there's not many of them out there yeah. so it was cool so that's what ended up getting, ended up getting into it and then after that it was just you know friday saturday night shenanigans and my dad's one of those. He gets up at five o'clock every morning type deal, Oof. and just naturally. Not I. <laughs> and Not uh, I. I'd come home from you know either hanging out right. or racing or something, and I'd be like, "Good night." Right. <laughs> he'd morning. be like, "Good morning," <laughs> and I'd go to bed and he wake and like, but he he never really said it because he was racing when he was a kid and right. he knew he knew everybody I was hanging around with. He knew pretty much where I was, so like if he needed to get a hold because this is before cell phones, yeah, and um. <clears throat> So yeah, so I'm, I mean, he's like, whatever. Yeah, be safe. <laughs> yeah, like he figured my money was going into my car and not other things. So yeah, True. could be worse. Could have worse habits. So I tell my wife, she's yeah. like, you don't do nothing. I'm like, I, I could be at a strip club. 
<laughs> I could have a drug Hookers habit. Blow. I, mean, <laughs> I could have a drug habit. Not this week. I don't. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I mean, could pick, worse, pick your battles. Worst problems, right? Pick your battles. Yeah. Uh, you're at home playing <laughs> video games. It's I mean, Call of Duty's, <laughs> Call of Duty's my thing. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm lucky I got, you know, hobbies enough to keep me broke from doing other bad choices. So That's true. Keep you know, out of trouble. At least the hobbies are fun and you get something out of it. That's what I'm trying to steer my son into that I'm oh like, yeah how old is he 16 oh yeah like if you come spend your money here you won't have any money to do bad shit nope <laughs> correct nope you won't be able to afford nothing else <laughs> you can't afford drugs if you buy car parts no shit no no i remember back in the day you're looking at even a set of springs for something I'm like 300 bucks damn i still feel that way i still look at it like that. <laughs> that's a lot of hours <laughs> at the mall at all. Now, coilovers <laughs> are like 900 for Three a good set not at all Yo. 900 <clears throat> One of these days, I'll put some coilovers on the airbag. Air Forty-five hundred all. Oh, you just made a big purchase too. I might have. Oh, I know you have. Mm. Did you finally uh, get the kit? I went over to see uh, Chris at Malahini oh. yesterday. Because that that air it was the airlift that was doing a sale. Yeah, airlift had a sale. It ended today, right? Or yeah, tonight? Tonight at midnight. <laughs> airlift tonight sale midnight. ends. So I went over. And I was like, "Hey man, <laughs> let me throw some stacks on you. Throw some money at you." God, there's so many. Poor decisions I've probably made because, like, well, the sale ends at midnight. Oh yeah, Damn. that's how I sold it to my wife. I was like, <laughs> you know, fifteen percent. Like, hey, she's looking hey. at me like, bitch, fifteen percent. Fifteen percent will be nothing, <laughs> right? Like, that, it will be all right. So let me get that stimulus check. It's all good. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. <laughs> Ballin', baby. All right. So as we get towards the end of the hour. I asked everybody except for my last show because they were all about overlanding and off-road gear. So I'll kick back to it with this you thing's guys. Only thing, this thing's only an hour? Yeah, hour long. Oh, you better mind to go over on this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll still ask the question. We'll keep on carrying on. What's the- so I do, I do a little thing called Daily Race and Crush. So oh, yeah, three cars, cool. one you daily, one I'm you race, one you women. crush. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a date. He's like, it's a dating app, right? right. <laughs> Which one do I take to the track? <laughs> I didn't say daily race or smash. Right. I said crush. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> daily race or crush. Okay. You go first. What do you answer? So, yes. so I'm actually, I, I'm going to go a little personal with Joey okay. and I'm going to choose Shit. his three cars. We're going to have orange crush, Uh-oh. beetle mm. and gramps. <gasps> Don't do Pulled me like on, that. Pulled on the heartstrings. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, if you want to tell them who Gramps is. Gramps is known. Gramps was a 1985 Mercedes-Benz W123 that I rescued out of a cow farm in Denellon, Florida. Got it. Stripped it down. Painted it. Swapped out the interior. Did a bunch of powder coating under the hood. Custom paint under the hood. Because the custom good paint car. wheels lowered it. And I drove that thing everywhere. I, mean, I drove it down to South Florida. I, mean, I drove it drove it everywhere. And then I took it to IA in Port Alliance in Atlanta. And the guy next to me had a red Coca-Cola Beetle. And I told him, I said, I would never <laughs> sell my car because I would never get out, never get what I put into it. Right. I said, but I always told myself I would trade it for an, an old school air cool beetle or bus. He said, that's weird because I got that right here. <laughs> so about an hour passes by. He comes back. He's like, hey, you want to trade? I'm like, yep. <laughs> so I'm, I didn't even look over the car or nothing. I just knew it was, you know, from what it looked like, it looked like it was solid. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, <laughs> three years later. Right. No, I well, actually, hell, I, I drove the car. I drove the car for a year. Before it finally popped, but what well, finally went on it? The engine. Oh, like, it was the, the crank was walking in and out of it. Oh, uh, gotcha, it gotcha. Spewed oil. It was when I was coming back from um, European experience in Savannah. Mm. So luckily, I, the the exit coming up was a buddy of mine's, and I just parted at his house until I could go get it with a trailer. Gotcha. Wah, 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 yeah, ripped wah, in Gramps because that car got destroyed. So yeah, the <sighs> I traded I traded Gramps <laughs> that following week. You know, we did a video of it. You know, the last night me having it, um, you can find it on YouTube. It's um, Gramps123, W123. You can search that on YouTube and see the last day I had it. Yeah, we'll have to link up to that too. So. Um, and then seven days later, he calls me. He tries calling me at 2 o'clock in the morning, blowing my phone up, asking me, like, do you still have parts for this? Do you still have parts for that? I'm like, hold up. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck you do to the car? 
He's like, man, I hit a set of rotor tracks and the the, oh, the skid no. the, the, the skid the skid plate caught the uh, the tracks and it it, it destroyed it, you know it, the sh- the engine comes shoved up through the hood. I'm like, <gasps> I'm thinking I'm gonna kill this dude, right? Uh, so then he sends me pictures of of the car sitting at a gas station. There's just a sheet of oil just going from underneath it down to a drain. I'm like. You're gonna have EPA called on your ass. Oh, that's so I was like, rough. I was like, well, I was like, okay. So, well, how fast were you going, man? I was going like maybe thirty miles an hour. I'm like, mm, try again. Why, why were you going? Okay, first of all, some railroad tracks. why were you going thirty miles an hour with a car that heavy, that low, at thirty miles an hour? All right. Why would you do that? You know, that's your, that's your first mistake. So, what happened was that I had a custom skid plate because I I had hit the oil pan. And had a little crack in it, end up blowing the original engine. Had to get another engine installed in it. So when I had that engine put in, I had a custom made skid plate put in it. Mm-hmm. That skid plate hit the railroad tracks. It sheared the engine uh, motor mounts, shoved the engine up through the hood. It uh, moved the Whew. subframe back six inches. It, it messed that car well, up. Only that, you. That car should have been totaled when he when he hit those railroad tracks, but they right. didn't because they didn't look at the subframe. So. Gets it back a couple months later, has it parked out in front of his house, neighbor backs into the door. So you got to have all that fixed. Cursed. Yeah, it's like Damien's job. So that car on. is now like floating around Savannah, Georgia somewhere. Every now and then a dude will text me like, hey, man, what do you think I need to do? I'm like, you just need to send me the car back cheap. That <laughs> 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 car's got demons. So let me get that. Yeah, let me get that. But so for the... For the three, it's got to be Gramps in its heyday, not Gramps now. Yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll talk. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do? Smash? What's one of my smashing? So yeah, you got you got a daily one. I'll smash. You got a race one. You got a crush one. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the crush should be easy. <laughs> I have to race it, huh? One, he, said I, he said I have to race once, one. Once he's got. Run, you got a daily. When you got a race. When you got a crush, <sighs> I guess I'm. Do? I guess I'm. Um, I'm daily in the bins. <laughs> I'm racing the beetle, and I'm crushing orange crush. Right. <laughs> there, there we go. I was. I was. A toss <laughs> okay. Up between, okay. Y'all are assholes. Between, okay, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that right I now. Daily the beetle. <laughs> Either way, let's still have it. You just crush the orange crush. I mean, it's yeah. all right. So you get a yeah. daily the beetle. I would definitely go race Gramps. Yeah, oh yeah. How the hell you gonna race that? Turn? I'll race it over. You didn't over, say you had to be tracks. successful. I will race it over the tracks. Hey, you, like got you got a point. You got a point. Like Fast and Furious. <laughs> you ain't got to win. You just got to race it. I, I guess I would do that. I would daily the beetle race the bins because I could turn the turbo up and turn off the wastegate and all that good shit and get some juice get, out of get it. Get something. There you go. Yeah, Orange Crush ain't making it. It's all right. I, I never had a chance against those two cars. <laughs> no. I figured as much, but I had to throw it out there. So I used to own a 68 Cutlass 442, though. Mm. That, that's what brought my resurrection back into the car scene. Okay. What car? So I know you asked me, but Bob, how about with both of y'all? What did y'all kind of get into as far as the car scene? Shit, when... um. What kind of resurrected me was when, like, when um, Fast and Furious came back out. Yeah, you know the original one. Yeah, but I had a, like a ninety nine, I had a ninety nine Yukon on wheels and shit and sound system. Mm-hmm. I got rid of that bitch and went and got a Honda Accord. <laughs> <laughs> Coop. That's funny. Yep. There we of go. <laughs> My dad ninety nine. I think it was gold. Oh gold god, car. that Duval gold. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My dad was into car audio. Like, okay, like, so he worked at car audio shops since I was a kid. Since Martin was, Schaefer yeah. on Instagram, look him up. Oh yeah, and oh, if you, dad, if you don't know. Pops has got an IG. Oh yeah, he's nice. On, he's on, he don't know what he's doing, but he's on. But there. it's on there. <laughs> he's got my dad's he, seventy, and he still goes to these. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's sweet. I you've, mean, you, you've had to see his dad's the car, purple PT, Cruiser, the purple PT. Oh yeah, that's my yeah, yeah. Dad. that's his dad's. I had no clue about maniac. that. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he's, nobody he's, expects him to be the owner of the car. No, yeah, I wouldn't. They're expecting walks, some young black dude. He walks out, and they're like, <laughs> "Who's the owner of this car? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Marty over there with the, with the white hair." Yeah, you lying. <laughs> you lying. Right. Nope, that's his. <laughs> nope, all day. Yeah, we used to go to um, Spring Break Nationals in Daytona. Oh yeah, the big I ask. Oh, the yeah, big I show. Yep, and it just kind of went from there. You know, um, Fast and Furious, obviously. 
Um, there was a show on MTV. I don't know if you remember. It was like True Life. I'm a race street racer. Did you ever see oh, that? Oh, yes. God, yeah. yeah. It was like yeah. probably around wow. the same time, right? Like, Jeez. They were, they were racing like four-door Hondas and shit. Oh, yeah, and losing. Yeah. God. Well, that was the thing. When the Fast and the Furious came out, man, every Honda Civic came out of the woodwork. Yep. I remember leaving the movie theater when that movie came out. Yeah. <laughs> everybody everybody called a wheel. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, everywhere. I mean, we, we all went out to the Orange Park Mall. I had my Yukon turned all the way. I was in Orange Park Mall, and I was like, I had my Yukon jacked all the way up, and I got that bit sideways. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's over there like, what the f*** are you doing? <laughs> Hold on, bitch. Right. <laughs> and she was a big girl, too. I thought her big old behind was going to roll over onto my seat. I'm like, nah, you stay over there. <laughs> it's crazy what a movie franchise can do for a culture. Oh, it, it yeah, no, it, it kicked off. Every because everything at that point had still kind of been more underground. Like I mean, it was kind of more actually like the Fast and the Furious was, where you had you know big parking lot meets, mm -hmm. then everybody would roll out and go yeah. race. But you had the groups that would you know kind of hang out. You had stereo kids, you had domestics, you had imports. Yeah, at all. Yeah. yeah, but it was kind of all underground. I remember before that movie came out. We would meet at we would meet at different places. We would meet at meet at Hooters on Wells Road. Wells Road. People would make their bets, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And then I remember one night they all met at um, Hooters, and then we drove over the Butman Bridge. Mm -hmm. Met um, where I think it was where the gym is now. I can't remember what was there, but that's where we went. Met with this guy that had a, a kid, young kid that had a, like a sixty seven, sixty eight mm -hmm. uh, Mustang. It was right. green. Met up with him. They were they lined up five wide on JT on on the Butman Bridge. Right. Shut 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 the Butman Bridge down. Excuse me. We were all behind them. You know, so traffic was stopped. Yep. You know, honk honk, and these dudes let it rip, bro. And what's funny is like you had like these cars were like purposely built for racing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a sixty nine Camaro, sixty. You know, all these cars. I'm in my Yukon standing in it. Oh, I'm seeing his bright lights, his lead, your tail lights, his leaving Walking. me. Walking. Right. I was like, jeez. My my buddy, he's hanging out. He's recording the whole thing on his a little <laughs> handy cam. A little handy handy cam. cam. <laughs> they end up using his handy cam footage on the news. Yeah, I was like, oh, man, don't, don't let him see the top of my car, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we used to go um, when 9A wasn't done yet, but it was done. Mm-hmm. And so they used to have the rope closed. It was closed. complete, but it wasn't open. It was yet. complete, but it wasn't open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we used to have kids roll out there, and they just moved the closed road sign and had fresh, brand new highway with not a soul on it. That fresh concrete, boy, mm -hmm. smooth. Oh yeah, let it rip. There was actually there was a group um, way back in Argyle when Oakleaf got built, and they cleared all the land for it. JSO, I'm just letting y'all know I did not participate. Oh yeah, and that was. <laughs> This is all hearsay from people I had talked to. I had witnessed some illegal street <laughs> racing. I did not participate in illegal street racing. Fortunately, I think we're outside of the statute of limitations. So, right. well, the Yukon yeah. cut off at ninety five. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it had a governor on it, <laughs> and uh, they had found this was after Cecil Field had been demilitarized and given back to the city, and part of the Oakleaf property had backed up, I guess, right to Cecil Field. Well, somebody had found an old gate and, and I'm talking like old, like vines, everything had grown through the chain link fence over the years, all this like, you know, 1970s cold war era looking stuff. We well, cut the lock off the gate. Oh, yeah. still, still federal property. <laughs> Trespassing. Oh, you and jail. had gone and found a road that had kind of like wound its way back, like far enough away from the gate. Everything was pitch black. And then he found this straight stretch of road That's that cool. was back there with a bunch of underground bunkers running next to it. Like, seriously, some oh, old oh, 60s, 70s. About. Yeah. They're still out there. Yeah, yeah. They're still out there. I want to go in and do photos. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, now it's fine. You could go there and it wasn't right. an issue. You're but at the time, you, you were <laughs> cutting the lock off a gate that said, you know, no trespassing federal government. Yeah. Well, yeah, well but what he had done. And you know what I keep in the back of my car. <laughs> Well, he had put his own lock back on the gate. Mm. So his system, and we were all hanging out, and this is what he was doing. He was going around finding people, trying to rile people up to go race. And if you said, okay, cool, I'm going, you'd have to have somebody that vouch for you. So that way they knew you were cool. And then he would give you a piece of paper that had a shape on it, like either Scooter, triangle Scooter or... never get in. Yeah, it was like no. a triangle or He's a star or something like that. Right. So that was like your ticket. 
So you show up to the gate and if you didn't have it, you weren't getting in. But after everybody got in, he closes the gate behind Lock everybody and relocks it. There you go. Oh, so you are in for the night until the we are party. done. <laughs> <laughs> Guess where you're doing right. in the woods. In the, the woods. I'll but, uh, some TP. Yeah. So I, I yes. heard some crazy stories back there about that. So well, they used to run. imagine if they had cell phones back then. <sighs> oh man, Jesus! <laughs> they used to race at uh, Amundsen Park on the north side. Oh yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, one of my buddies, his dad used to race out there every weekend mm-hmm. until, you know, a kid got killed. Yeah. No, I remember that. And then even then with um, some of those places, I remember people used to dip out and like jump into the UPS parking lot. And, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Off of like, was that Pritchard? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's it's crazy to see kind of how that scene started. And even now, like with social media, like mm-hmm. some of these other uh, the car groups that are out there, and you have folks that are online, like calling out like, all right, let's go race. We're going to go here. And I'm like, all right. Like you're telling everybody. Yeah. What are you you're doing? telling everybody. <laughs> like this is an open group. I think that's a. I think that's a big thing too. As I'm getting older, like when I was younger, I had like an '84 S10 with a uh, with a built 350 in it. Mm-hmm. I used to drive stupid fast in that damn thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm surprised I didn't kill myself in that. You know, I've, I had a '68, you know, Cutlass 442. I've had muscle cars, you know, all this and that. When I was younger, yeah, I wanted to go fast. But as I get older now, I'm like, you know, it's cool. You know, I'll, I would still have a fast car. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, that yeah. Challenger's not fast. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> but, it's, but it's, I mean, it's but, not a Prius. Right. Yeah. Hook it up and go. But, um, it's not an XB. <laughs> <laughs> but, I wasn't going to go there. But, <laughs> 92 horsepower. But, like, now, right now, like, you know, my 2021 goal right. is I want to I want to buy and import a right-hand drive VIP car. Okay. Yeah. So, so now I'm going with the, you know, the low and slow look. Yep. You know, it, player, I got a V8. Uh, you slow. You drive sixty kilometers an hour, bro. <laughs> I mean, I do drive slow. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't buy a fast car because I know me. Like I know what I'll do. I mean, I'm I know what I do in that Challenger. I do some dumb shit in that Challenger. I got to get new tires for it now. I trashed it last weekend. Yeah, taking kids for rides. Oh, yeah, I was going down by the uh, Uncle old Joey's. A- <laughs> oh, fun, fun yeah. Uncle Joey. Oh, fun Uncle Joey. Oh, dangerous. What are you doing? <laughs> Giving kids car rides seat, in the day. You got challenge. a seatbelt on? But <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I was taking them down where the uh, the old towers used to be for JA. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Going down one of the side roads and mm-hmm. letting it rip. Danger. Yeah. There's some soon, fun. As soon as, one, as soon as my niece got out of the car, she yells at my Uncle Ben, we did 122 miles an hour. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> We didn't. Right. Car wouldn't go that fast. You were looking at kilometers. Right, right. right. <laughs> it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. Cutting 180s. All that good stuff. Don't let your kids ride with Joey. That's how we get That's how we get that new blood in the car oh, scene. Yeah. Got to get them excited up front. Right. His daughter, when she's uh, when she goes to shows and you know, like car meets and stuff with mm. us, like we went to a car meet. Um, what was that place in Georgia? BFE, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it was right over the bridge. Toy, uh, toy, toy box, Brunswick, toy box racing, toy box something. No, uh, that's the one. What's called? That was the place. Oh, the place. Yeah, yeah. I think it's is it is that Brunswick? No, sure. it can't be St. Sure. Mary's. Tabby Island. No, you know where um, Jekyll Island is? Yeah, it's right over there. It's right across the bridge. It looks like damn Dane's Point. What is that? Oh, I think that's Brunswick. Yeah, it's very great. So we did. We did. The, we went to a car meet there on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. And he took her with her. I mean, she's fourteen, and she was like all about it. She was like asking questions about all the cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, what's it. this? What's that do? I was like, oh, that's a brake booster. That's what gives a you know. That's this. cool. And then I'm just I was like, ask your dad. He'll tell you. Oh, my dad don't talk to me. <laughs> You're so dumb, dude. <laughs> She was with the um She loved there was an old Dodge truck in the back that was like the tires were flat. This thing was rusted as <laughs> like, shit. Toe she's made like, her looking thing. She's like that's the one. That's, I'm that's like, it. I'm like, what? That Silverado on the snowflakes? <laughs> nah. Nah. That rusty one. That I'm like, one. fuck you. Yeah. She wants herself oh, a rap rod. We were at um the cruising for kids and she his, was like his wiping da- the car down. Like his daughter is sweet. Yeah, she's into it. She's unique as hell at, that's to begin cool. with. Like she's like all in the eighties, like fashion and music and stuff. Oh, that's cool. So, she's a little retro kid. Yeah, she's even retro. She has no idea what retro means. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of our daughters growing up, they both made sure they were listening to you know eighties rock yeah. and eighties music, you know nineties things like that. So yeah, they're a little bit of a anomaly. She bought with some like friends. some like eighties sure. era glasses. Oh yeah, like they were just like plastic. They weren't like 
Yeah, she was real. Wearing, she was yeah. Because she has like real kinky hair. Mm -hmm. And like she looks like Barb from um, Stranger Things. Right? Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what she was She's like doing. Like, Barb's not dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Barb's not dead. So she was like walking around and like his mom and dad called him or something. was like, uh, what were you going to tell us? <laughs> yeah, they're like, like uh, what? Kendra has glasses. <laughs> like, they're, 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 they're props. They're, they're, they're fake. Yeah, they're fake. <laughs> oh. Like my kid's cool. Right, it's fine. Yeah. Don't she's worry about it. She's living the gimmick. Let her be. Uh, let her do her thing. <laughs> That's I'm, good I'm, speaking of gimmick, I'm supposed to wrestle. We're supposed to go to Georgia. I'm supposed to wrestle in a uh, battle royal. Like, Y'all want to see May, a dead body? May <laughs> like, <laughs> like some like some WWE. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's gonna he's, you, be a, he's gonna be my manager. We, were we cleared? I I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's supposed to be May second. No, we're not doing it. It's, oh. probably, it's probably gonna get pushed back. Oh, I, gotta, oh, I guarantee I gotta it. To, yeah. I got to talk to the promoter. Yeah, old, old Trumpy Trump has already talked about things are shut down till like, April thirtieth. Hey man, I can't, 30th, I can't so. drive up there to get my ass beat. No, we're not doing that. It's not happening. <laughs> I mean, it will happen, just not probably not May second. Right, right. Maybe end of summer. You haven't trained one uh, one day one bit. for this. <laughs> not one. So I had a friend of mine. You see on Instagram, there's like that story challenge, like that 10 push up challenge yes. that was going around. Yeah. Can't do it. <laughs> a buddy of mine tagged 10. me in that. <laughs> and I'm like, nope. <laughs> Who do I got to pay? Right. I think, 10, I, I, think I tried off camera to do 10 push ups. And I'm like, no, that struggle bus is not no, being videotaped. I'm not built for that. <laughs> I've, had, I've had shoulder surgery on this one, had this one rebuilt. I got to have this one rebuilt. So after this wrestling match, that's when I'm going to get this one redone. <laughs> Oh, you can go get you some some of them stem cells. Yeah, some. Get out of Panama. Get out of South yeah. America. Yeah, out of Rip On that uh, Joe Rogan podcast, right. he like had uh, Mel Gibson on there. Yeah, his dad. Right? Yeah, and his dad had gone down to Panama and was he got what and got the stem cell injections. He was like he in was supposed penis? to ha maybe I don't know. Sign maybe that's why he's yeah. still alive. He was Sign in a wheelchair, up. right? His dad was in a wheelchair. Wheelchair, yeah, and everything else, and ended up giving him some stem cell treatments and everything else, and he's up walking around now. Yeah. What? Yeah. And then, How was I not approved here? And Mel Gibson was supposed to have so shoulder surgery. So he went down a, like a year or two later and had the same thing done, and his shoulder is copacetic. Joe Rogan, same thing. He had it done, and there's no signs of a tear in his rotator after he had the – like eight months after he had the yeah. stem cells. Really? Really. It's like 40 grand, though. Oh, <laughs> sign me up for that surgery. All right, all right. <laughs> I got it. I got insurance. They're doing like a little bit of that in Texas on like a different scale, I think. Um, Nevada does a little Nevada bit too, too. Yeah. But it's it's a little, I think the type of stem cell they use is different. Right. It's not, so, as, it's not as strong. Yeah. Not not as potent. Mm. I, won't, I won't hit nobody with my right arm. I'll right. just keep, I'll just keep jabbing on my left. It's a bad look. <laughs> it's, I'm only doing Listen, like a battle I'm, going I'm not like wrestling like one on one with nobody. I was going to get in the ring, talk shit, stand in the corner, uh -huh. wait till the last end. I'm going to try to throw this mic out. <laughs> That's just going to dance around. I'm dance around. Just bust, bust, the camera. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, he's going to have a little megaphone have like looking like Jimmy Hart. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Stay saucy. It's not happening. No. <laughs> We're not going. Tell me this is going to be live, right? We're going to be oh, able to see this. I'm, I'm going to do Facebook if if, live. If they even have signal there. Oof. Yeah, it's in some backwoods. Georgia. Is this like in a barn? It's like some Hills Have Eyes type shit, I oh, think. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's going to be like some creepy kids though. walking out the corn and it's shit. It's going to be hella fun, though. Mm -hmm. Wrong Turn or whatever that movie's called. Oh, yeah. I, you, you sure there's really going to be anybody else there and you're not just getting there better be. delivering right, you right, to Georgia? Setup, yeah. We'll setup. get shot. Right. <laughs> I'll tell them I, I will shoot you. <laughs> it's going to be like the kids around the lake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jason Voorhees coming up in there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, cool. So let's tell everybody where can they find Saucy Podcast in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Saucy poor Jaguars Podcast on Twitter, Saucy yeah. Podcast on Instagram, um, and it's spelled S A U C E Y. Right. People we like to be like, extra. That E's yeah, for extra. That E's for extra. <laughs> so there's that. Right. <laughs> we catch so much shit. People telling us we spelled it wrong. Like no, we didn't. But like I spelt the hell. Right. I spelt it. Spelt it that way on purpose. It's it's 2020, bro. Right. I mean, people. Right. I mean, that should be the least of any, but like, there's a lot of dumb stuff. That's, I see some that's stuff spelled everywhere. Sure. Right. And instead of people saying I don't, they put I own. I O N. Right. I want to throw I my fist. I, I want to throw my phone. <laughs> I used to get onto my kids because they'd be like, "Oh, I got what? Okay, something like a. Oh, I got the drink out of the, out the fridge. No, you got a drink out of the fridge. Right. 
Like you're leaving words on the fucking Yeah, side. like why, why are we skipping words? <laughs> don't talk to me like you text. <laughs> I remember somebody posting something in the only Duval page, and they said, I don't care. It was I-O-N care. No, I was like. They don't care about English. So I'm sitting there I, looking. I, I don't, don't care like, about English. Like, what the hell is this dude saying? Right. It took him like 15 minutes to decipher. <laughs> oh, he meant I don't care. Right, right. Oh, he ignorant. Right. <laughs> this one's oh, you he's, gotta, he's you stare dumb, at you, the ones that make you squint. Right. Yeah. Like, hmm. He's on care. What is that? Like, that was, like, that was like, I just won't get any focus. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's, like change, a, it's like a bad fart. It just oh, makes you make a face. You like, know. And it rolls up the front. Mm. Take a little bit. No. It flaps it's around. It's horrible. It's like you've never had a roll fart roll up the front. Don't, no, that's not a thing. Just straight out the back. Yes. Like Every a time. Normal person. Every dude. time. Yes. How are you sitting? How are you sitting? Normal. <laughs> How are you sitting? Damn, dude. Damn. Sitting on your, your business. <laughs> <laughs> I got too much pressure, I guess. It just rolls up front. That's amazing. Yeah, you, know it's a, you, know it's a, you know it's a good fart when it, roll, when it moves a nut out of the way to get out. How close is your... Never mind. <laughs> Slappers, bro. Uh, cool, man. Facebook. Cool. Facebook. Yeah. The Saucer Podcast. Podcast yep. Facebook. The Twitch. Facebook You're back on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, the shadow ban has been lifted. Yeah. yeah. We scared it for a second. Oh, it's funny. So when you posted that, when when that had got happened, I was like, "Well, damn!" I was like, if "Something like that happened to me." Like, what happened? What all those pictures and like everything, yeah, everything, like gone. So I found out there is a way you can like back up like all of your Facebook history. Basically, really? includes like your posts and your send me a link. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll post Hell up yeah. that link. So if you're ever worried about ever losing all your stuff out there on Facebook, there's a way to download everything, kind of back it up. True. We need that. Yeah, we need that. Show. First so. thing I did when I found out that I was back on, I because I have a backup page, mm -hmm. my backup account is Barry McCockenter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad saying this. <laughs> <Fucking child. laughs> Especially with your wife sitting there. Right what was that like? We are dialed what was that, like What was that, that, that movie, uh, Couples Retreat, and his alarm goes off, and they're asking for his password, and he's like, it's astastic. <laughs> he's like, yes, A-S-S-tastic. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so my backup profile is Barry McCockinner. <laughs> so first thing I did when I found that, my, I, I made Barry McCockinner my, my admin. an admin to right. all my pages. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, oh, it was, I was adding him to like all our group chats on Facebook, and everybody's like, who, <laughs> who is this? Who's in the chat? Like, who the hell is Barry? Just who's Barry? It, right? Deal with it. God, you'll, you'll find out in a second. God has entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> My wife was like, um, so can you change Barry's name just like something normal? Nah, nope. No. Nah. Have you met me? I was like, so <laughs> Barry's, Barry's, Barry's a legend. here forever. I mean, Barry's Barry. Yeah, you married Barry. Yeah. You didn't know that, but you did. But you did. And then one o'clock in the morning, I get my profile back. No and no reason why they deleted me. They never like I've been deleted off of Facebook before. I've been banned. Right. You know, I, I did like all of like 2019, or, dude. You were in, yeah. 2019, I was all in Facebook jail. So <laughs> he was, yeah, he was an inmate for a long time. <laughs> Rip fam. So I um, put money on his the F block. <laughs> so yeah. So um, they usually tell you, oh, this post here was went against guidelines. Blah 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 blah. This yeah. is what it was. This is this is why. This was like, nah, you can't mm -hmm. use Facebook. I'm like, oh, was it my tiger? Was it my tiger stuff? <laughs> uh, that's been everywhere. Thing? Actually, where are we at time wise, real quick? Okay, we're good. So we could talk about some tiger shit too, dude. He finally watched all of it. Oh. Thank God. Oh yeah, Saturday. Every spent, time, Saturday. every time we thought it couldn't get any more fucked up. That yeah, fucking bitch, Carol. It got more <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh, and then when she dropped the 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 sardine oil thing, and I was like, I just oh. stopped it, bro. I'm like, I'm like, she just told you how she got rid right. of her husband, right? Like, <laughs> if, he, if they want him to attack, they're just put some old tuna oil yeah, on, his, on, his, on his shoes. <gasps> yeah, show, man. Like, you bitch. <laughs> she did it. Oh, oh chaos. Oh, man. you look in that girl's eyes. She oh, uh, There is there is hey, several yo, cards cool missing from that deck. What's up? <laughs> that lady is nuts. Making money. And she's mad because he's breeding them to make, you know, to make cubs for, for him to do the petting thing to make money. All right. That just became beef. Yeah. yeah, and he just it just he, went. Yeah, just he went he was far. nuts enough to I think keep picking at that and whole oh, yeah way too far. And you could tell it towards the end he realized he okay. really bit off more than he could chew. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um address the elephant in the room. I ain't never sucking dick for damn meth or to pet a tiger. Again, 
again. Again. Ever again. <laughs> Ever again. <laughs> right. Dude, how the hell do you lure straight men? There was and, one gay dude on that whole show. Him. Him. That, that was, was it. it. That was Nobody it. else was gay on that show. No. And, 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 who the, and, who the hell, <laughs> and who the hell does interviews damn near half ass naked like his one husband that had like all the teeth missing? Oh, yeah. Not Travis. Was it Travis? Was no, that Travis was, was the guy who shot, shot himself. himself. Rip fam. And that was. <laughs> did you see that dude's just, face when it happened? Like, he was finally like. He was like, <laughs> he looked like a little kid who just saw joke. Santa. He, he didn't just move. Like, yeah, he thought it was a joke at first. Yeah. And he was like, oh, shit, that's real. You did? You want to see a dead body? <laughs> Poor guy. He yeah, the other dude, I'm like, he making all his money on selling these cubs. Hook your boy up with a full set of chicklets. Like, what right? are you doing? So supposedly he got his teeth fixed no. afterwards. So there's a oh, picture right. floating around now with him with teeth. Oh, he got Netflix money. Oh, he got yeah, yeah, yeah he got that Netflix money and got himself a full set. And he got him a chunky girl, too, that worked in the front office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, yeah, he been boy. doing that from yeah. day one. Oh, yeah. Y'all think he set the, the um, Joe set the fire? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Destroyed that building? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. I wonder if any of those tapes were ever backed up for real, for real. Mm. I I, th I think if they had been that one guy who was kind of like the the reality show producer, yeah, he I, I, oh yeah, he, he would have released them. Yeah, especially oh, well, with time. as popular as this had gotten, right? It would have gotten out somehow. It's a that, shame that show. You know, there's some footage oh, that would have been man, amazing. Money. Oh, I guarantee money. it. Okay, what about the dude with the Colt? You know, that has all the chicks. He's banging every chick. And oh, works the, there. the Doc Antle guy. Oh. How do I sign up for that? He, dude, he's been on like the Tonight Show a bunch of times. Well, but huh. did, but remember, I got I mean I got a little beak up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, shit. Well, at the end, but remember they ended up saying his compound got raided. Mm -hmm. Did it? Yeah, yeah. The very last episode, they were kind of going through. This yep. is kind of where people are at, and they said in 2019 that his play the FBI or Something. FWC, anyway, somebody that he got raided. Florida Wildlife. Yeah, they didn't say what had happened to him, but they said he, he just got, got raided. I think he got he's raided. Still in operating because he was on. Um, I, don't, I watched Theo Vaughn's podcast. Mm -hmm. He's a comedian, and he mm -hmm. had him on the other day. Like, oh well, then yeah, yeah. I guess he's oh, still. Yeah, out. I watched that one. Then. So I don't know if he's still operating or mm -hmm. what, but he probably clarified. Dude, you could it. tell like when they interviewed him, he was a, just an arrogant prick. Bro, he, he was full. But he, he, but he knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, oh yeah, like dude you, was, do you want me to stand here? How do you want me to do the shot? How do you want me to do this? I'm yeah. like, damn, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was up. like, this ain't his first time. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, whatever. They, what do they call him? That what's the damn word they call him? Oh, the Bavagon, 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 whatever. Bavagon. Yeah. Bavagon. <laughs> Bavagon. Yeah. yeah. Whatever they call him. <laughs> Means like Lord or whatever. Lord, like, yeah. Like, yeah. But he was trying to play swinging. it off. Like, no, it just means something. Right. Like, and like, no. I man. thought if I were for that deal, I'm like, I'm not calling you God. I ain't calling you Bubba. I ain't calling you none of that no. shit. Right. Bubba Gump, whatever you're Bubba name Gump. Is. <laughs> hey, asshole, where you want me to put this cat shit? Well, then I like, because then you look at all the houses, like, every woman got set up in a They're big old Chris. house. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, like, damn, how many whole compound jobs she right there? Yeah. yeah, it right? was crazy. Changing their names and shit? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you do you are, think? You are now referred to as. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it got old uh, Carol's current husband. That yeah, weirdo. Dude. Yeah. Well, you know, like you, I could tell he was toting her line so hard because he knows if he stepped out of line. He's getting killed. Yeah, he's well, going to get a little fish like oil. Like, yep, he's getting fed. He looks a lot like her first husband too. Yeah, he did. Oh, just a little, just a lot nerdier. Yeah, a little, little yeah. nerdier. Because I like fell asleep. I like I sleep a lot. <laughs> and I fell asleep, <laughs> and I woke up and I was like, "Wait, that's her." Isn't did that you old? see the wedding photos when she had him on the ground? He's yeah. in a, with a <laughs> leash. <laughs> you know what's happening? He's getting pegged. He's getting pegged. Hundred percent. Oh, and then, and then what about uh? Uh, the the little doughy boy that became like the the informant for the feds had that real weird haircut. Oh yeah, this is my don't do nothing out of the ordinary. This motherfucker got on a sea dude. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Looks like an eighties montage. Like, he flipped his story twice. Toy at the he end. Oh, yeah. He's like ratting on this guy, and then he was like, "No, really, let's rat on this guy." Yeah, no, let's rat on this guy. Dude, Jeff's like the the dopest damn con man ever. Oh yeah, he was. I got tiger cubs just for the swinger sex. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, sneaking him into that Vegas hotel room. How he did yeah. it and stuff just to get swingers. Every stuff. person in this whole shit. Like, the one kid I thought was going to be normal that ended up being Joe's, like, political advisor. I'm mm -hmm. like, all right, well, he, this kid's, like, he starts off normal. Right. Like, yeah. he, like, this all this shit's weird. Right. And then he chokes on his own vape. Yeah, and then, like, by the, by the end of the series, <laughs> he... 
<laughs> like, but he drives a Subaru. Yeah, right. You know he does. He's sitting there, look messed up, shirts half unbuttoned, oh, sitting yeah. in a barn full of hay. Oh yeah, he's messed up. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's messed man. up, man. <laughs> like, Dude, what no are one lives. Like, how good is meth? Like, <laughs> like, apparently, I, it's, God, like, I don't want to try it. Jesus. <laughs> I'd rather be fat than try that crap. It's um, when I saw when they brought on the girl that got attacked by the tiger and right. took her arm off uh-huh. before they even said anything, I looked at my wife like, I pray to God that's how she lost her arm is by a big tiger. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's like, why would you wish that on anybody? I'm like, it fits the it's, damn story. Right. It has to. Story has Next to. episode. Right. I was like, but yes. she was so chill about it. Oh, yeah. She's like, no she deal. was probably the the normalest person oh. in that whole show. Oh, and she was like, went back to work seven days? Yeah. Like, what's like, going on in back her to life it. that she's just like, eh, you know, yeah, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Right. She did her whole interview. It looked like at the back of like some like junk yard, junk right? van. <laughs> like a junkyard. It's like, Sam, it's like Sanford and Sons. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he was financing all that just by selling Cubs? Joe? We had to, I mean, Has four or five away? grand a pop. He was either... He was either selling the Cubs mm-hmm. to who he knew he could get away with it and mm-hmm. shit, or they got to, to a point where they got so big he was offing them off. Yeah, but I mean, like the the cost of feeding all those tigers, they say it was like sixty ten ten thousand dollars a year per a per year? tiger, okay. and he had two hundred something tigers, sixteen pounds a day. Yeah, it's like they, even with the Walmart food, it's like how do you afford all that shit? Cause <laughs> they try to people? open that pizza joint on that Walmart meat. Oh my! <laughs> and the people that work there and live there, they're eating this shit. <laughs> did you Some see my? This is okay. Did you see my tweet today? No. We got a pizza from uh, BJ's, right? And I, I blew through half of this sucker. I look at my one. I hope this shit wasn't made with the damn truck meat. <laughs> it's that truck meat. It <laughs> so it makes it good. That's why the pizza was so cheap, baby. That's, where, a of date. that's where the fucking coronavirus come from. From that trailer, Walmart, oh, did you, Walmart, did you hear that the the Ooh. market Wuhan opened back up? No, uh-huh, the wet no. market. Yeah, well, okay, it's dead. open again. We're done. Go, ahead, well. Go buy you another dog and buy it. Oh, we're done. Mm, we're done. Rip, dead. rip world. Yep. <laughs> Just like this podcast, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, right. gentlemen, thanks for spending some time out here. Well, thanks Not for having us. Yep, definitely. Everybody, make sure you check out the Saucy Podcast again on Instagram, Facebook. You can find them basically where every other podcast is shown out. Yeah, every yeah, platform. Spotify, Stitcher. You guys are also do you do uh, live streams on Twitch? Yep. We do Twitch, Facebook. If you want to burn your eyes out and you're yeah. come on and watch our shit. Mm. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And you guys do some live on location shows too here and there. So yeah, that's we cool. It, we do it uh we're gonna start doing it like once a month at the White Brothers automotive car meet. Whenever, yeah, whenever or whenever that comes back. Whenever up. the, the uh, stay at home is lifted. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So. All right. Well, thanks everybody out there who's listening and watching. Again, show us some love. Likes, comments, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you can find us, LNR Show and LNRShow.com. Thanks again. Bye, everybody. Peace. Peace. Are you ready to see somebody's need for speed? Why can't put our